AR, VR, uh, we've heard it before, we've seen it before, we hear it at CES 2018 and is it just a gimmick? <laughs> we'll find out right after this. All right, we're back. I'm here with Shannon Moss. We're here at CES 2018 and I want to find out about AR and VR and there's no better person than Shannon. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> um, so if you're not already subscribed to Shannon's channel, it will be in the description below. It'll be in this thing. YouTube.com yeah, yeah, yeah. slash tech thing. Up, you heard it, yeah? Up, go check her out. She's got some really, really cool stuff. We'll be awesome. He's going to be on our channel too. Okay, so we're going to do the whole huh, collab thing because we're some wee royal. All right. <laughs> um, so the whole thing of AR and VR. So Shannon has been around. She has kind of specifically looked for this kind of stuff. Yes. I said I was not into it because, well, I, you know my view. I just don't think it's a thing. <laughs> However, Exhibit A, we might have a different opinion. Let's find out. So yeah. tell me, what have you seen? What, who's doing what? And is it going to die a miserable death? <laughs> okay, that's the question. No, short answer is Right, thank you very no. much for watching. Oh, no, sorry, yeah. No, so I've been coming to CES for 10 years as of 2018. Yay, it's my anniversary, I guess. One day, decade of CES. That's kind is that of something scary. you should be proud of? No. no. Okay. Uh. <laughs> but I have seen a lot of growth in virtual reality and augmented reality, and okay. both of them together. Um, over the course of the past several years, not 10, because it wasn't around right. 10 years ago, but the past like four years or so, we've okay. seen a lot of changes in the technology as well. We've seen things going from just simple glasses that right. you put on, like Google Glass for AR and stuff like that, which was a complete failure and a total gimmick, to things that you put on your complete head and let you move around with controls so that you can shoot things in FPS style video games and things of that nature. And over that course of time, I have seen much better positive technology than okay. I had two years ago. Even last year, I saw terrible VR technology, but this year I've seen some drastic changes in the environment, which not only help with things like motion sickness and just crappy looking views, but also really help with lowering the price too, because there's more com competition in the market. All right, so gaming is, obviously gaming is where it's at. Yeah. Have you tried any cool games since you've been here or some cool technology? I actually have. All right, talk to so me. So I am very familiar with things like the Oculus, the PlayStation VR, and the HTC Vive. Okay. This year, HTC announced the new Vive Pro, and they also announced a wireless adapter for the ah. original Vive and the Vive ah. Pro as well. So no more cables. Yeah, no more cables. And now we're starting to see this huge difference in the technology, not only with okay. you know cabling right, you, right, right. tethering you to a computer, but letting you move around a much bigger environment. So you can play okay. with like multiple people, you wow. can play like at an arcade, like I'm envisioning all these new things that you can do that you did not have one year ago. And not only that, okay, but- Okay, so that's a big thing. Yes. Right? Yes, it's very big. But they've also done a lot of changes with the resolution too. And one of the big issues in the past with VR is that it would make people motion sickness. Okay, I was going to get to that. Yeah, yeah tell it would me give about you this. Motion sickness. It would make you need to squint to see right. the screen because it's not very clear, okay. or you would have to move adjust. the headset yeah, yeah, yeah. around and adjust it in just the perfect way so that you could actually set it on you, or you'd have to tighten it to the point where it was cutting off circulation <laughs> to your brain. It's terrible. But the HTC Vive Pro, when I got to, and I got to test it with NVIDIA, they were playing a game called Raw Data, which was Whoa. so much fun. It was really cool. Right. Apparently I was the only person to beat the boss, so go me. <laughs> and that's a check mark for me. But when I put it on, I noticed that when you tighten it, it's much more comfortable, even okay. if you wear glasses. Okay, right. Okay, right. And I wear glasses. So okay. I was really impressed with that, but also because like if you tighten it around the back of your head, it didn't hurt my hair. It, it wasn't okay. pulling on my hair or anything like that because it's just a little screw that you tighten to take these two plastic bits and get and them closer get to the sides of your right. head. Yeah. And when you played, did you kind of get to a point where you kind of lost yourself in there and kind of understood that you were I in there? I did, yes. Okay, now that's a big thing. Yes. So the thing with the resolution, and HTC is saying that this one has increased by 78% resolution, which wow. is crazy. Wow. It's like 2880 by 1600 or some weird resolution like that, but it's very, very big. You can still see a little bit of the pixels if you have 2020 okay. vision, but it looks way better. It's much more crisp, much okay. more clear. So you're not 
drawn to the point that you're looking at Pixel, you're much more drawn into the game itself. And that's what you want. Yeah. You want to be sucked into exactly. being in the moment. There was one point where I was playing it, and in raw data, you have to shoot a bunch of androids that are coming from yeah. you from all over the place. So you're constantly turning back around and all over the place and trying to shoot each of them, and I got a few headshots going. <laughs> but there was one point when an android flew at me, and he was standing right here. So I turned around, and I was uh, like, ah! And I Brilliant. physically moved because I thought it was so it was scary. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what you want. And that is what I want. And I think All HTC right. has finally captured that kind of VR that everybody has been wanting for so long. Right. And we keep on thinking, this has been a gimmick up until 2018. Well, that was my view. Exactly. So you're saying time to change the view? I think 2018 is going to be the year that oh. we start seeing some really innovative technology with VR, not just what we keep on seeing from okay, previous right. companies. Not more of the same. Yeah, exactly. It's still a balance between kind of your PC hardware right. and your kind of VR hardware as well. Right. And the two got to work together. Yeah, exactly. But, but you're saying the future's looking bright? I think so, yeah. And I'm, I'm really excited about this. I'm very happy that it's finally okay. looking bright. Because for the longest time, right. I was worried that VR was going to go away, and I want it to happen. Right, that was me. I, I'm a cheerleader for VR, and I was just like, let me cheerlead for something good, please, companies. And I think they're finally, you find it. they're finally agreeing with that, which is great. <laughs> I, I, I hate doing 180 turns. Damn. Okay, <laughs> I might have to do it in this, in this particular case, and I really see kind of as technology developing, kind of this thing becoming better, faster, bigger. Uh, but in this case, it's a good thing. It's not yet another yeah. bigger TV. Yeah. Which, like, uh, exactly. Right. <laughs> not yet. Where can we find more about you? So you can find me on Twitter. I'm at Snubs, S-N-U-B-S. I'm sure there'll be a link in the show notes. I think we can put one in. Yeah, okay. okay. And then you can also find my YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash tech thing. And that's a show that I do with my co-host, Patrick Norton. Super happy to be on. Thank you so Thank much. You. It was awesome it. to hang out with you. Well, it was fun. We've been friends on Twitter for a long time. <laughs> All right, and this is us from CES signing out, and we'll see you in the next episode of Talking Tech with a Techie Guy. Cheers for now. Oh, wait, by law, I think you have to do this. Oh, right. <laughs>